Now, last year, exports of rosé wine from France increased 29% as Americans fell in love with the dry, pink-colored wine. But much to the disappointment of some consumers, there was a rosé shortage last summer. Bloomberg's own Olivia Stearns found some social media stars looking to make money on a solution. Uh, first of all, Pam, do you know the fat Jew? I've seen him on Bloomberg, right. yes. So he is a sort of Instagram king. He's a social media sensation. He is teaming up with a guy called David Oliver Cohen, who is sort of half the brains behind another social media sensation called White Girl Problems. Ever heard of it? Babe no, sorry, Walker? I missed no. that one. Anyway, uh, it's a really interesting story because here are these two guys who have this huge viral following who are doing all these crazy marketing stunts. And now here they are getting into the real world with a real commercial product. It is called white girl rosé. So I wasn't sure if it was a joke or not, and that's kind of where I started the conversation. Have a listen. Last summer in the Hamptons, there was a rosé shortage. People were running through the streets, screaming there was not enough rosé. People were hoarding it in their arms, running through the streets. And we sat back and watched, you know, as it all unfolded, and we said, never again. So it's more of a humanitarian endeavor. Yeah, we're givers. Sure. We're givers. And we want to make sure that, you know, there, there would never be not enough rosé for everybody. So we figured, why don't we just make it? Yeah, we, we felt like we can do this better than anyone else. Exactly. we've never done it before. Right. And it's almost one of those things where if you've never done it, you could just learn all the things you need to do to get it done. Yeah. And that's what we did. Yeah, 100%. All right, so you guys are serious about this. this How many bottles have you actually made? We are in the process of bottling as we speak. Our first order is 30,000 bottles. Wow. We want to be national by next summer. One year from now, a million bottles sold. And how are you positioning it? Is it up market? How much does it cost? Suggested retail, $14.99 at the store. So it's reasonable. Right. So you're like, to, you're kind you know, of balling, but you're not really balling. You know what I mean? It's not $8.99. You know what I'm saying? This isn't Trader Joe's. Talk to me about the name. White Girl Rosé. Mm -hmm. Some might find that a little offensive. Well, part of our brand, White Girl Problems, is a, it's really more a platform from which we can all stand and air our grievances. So you don't have to be a white person or a girl to mm -hmm. have a white girl problem. Totally. Because problems are relative. So if you have an issue, it could be a white girl problem. It's really more white people, less white people sort of making fun of themselves, and everyone can make fun of themselves. But since you say this is serious, yep. you're actually trying to market this also to men because there's this growing brose movement. So true. That's How right. are you going to get men with a product called White Girl Rose? That's, that's right. Because, um, because like, you know, like White Girl, it's like a, it's a state of mind. You know what I mean? You have to like, you get, you know what I'm saying? You it's get pa in. It's pansexual. Exactly. It's, it's, for, it's just for everybody. And like, you know, all guys, I think, have a little, a little bit of White Girl in them. And I think they should embrace it. And we embrace the Brose movement. So, a, more and more men apparently are drinking Rose and they're actually trying to tap into this legitimate market trend. Are you drinking Rose? I mean, I know you know a lot about wine. I want to ask you first, <laughs> did you try it? It's under my desk. We can open it later. All right. And who makes it? Because they don't own the vineyards that make it. They put the label on the bottle, I would imagine. Yes, it is White Girl Rosé yeah. bottling. Uh, so they're doing it in conjunction with a wine producer. Right. Uh, but it's selling on fresh drink. Is, uh, is the wine producer based in France? I mean, do we no, know? No, it's based in the U.S. It's based but in the so U.S. But so is Wolfer. And Wolfer Estates on the Just Hampton. wanted to make sure, you know, Rosé. Just wanted to check. 